Speaking Norman Rockwell, to tell you the truth, um, you're a Republican strategist. How do you fight back against a guy who served in uniform, taught high school, took his football team to the state championship, and then won, and then he went to Congress? Can you say Q Jimmy Stewart? Oh, Del, that's a, quite a loaded question there, but I think it's a very important one you're asking. As a political strategist right now, I'm not currently advising any Republicans, but my whole career has been in the Republican Party, and I'm still a card-carrying Republican. I truly believe in the greatness of this party's values, but many of those good values have been overshadowed in the past eight years. I will say, when I saw Walls take this, uh, the stage with Harris yesterday in Philadelphia, it gave me some vibes of Paul Ryan and Mitt Romney. A lot of what Walls was saying was stuff that I heard come out of Paul Ryan's mouth just 10 years ago and and now we know that the party is no longer looking at leadership like that of former speaker paul ryan uh, it's changed a great deal maga is certainly the banner for the party and trump continues to hold that up i do think jd vance today was quite irked by Walls' mentioning of him yesterday from the podium. One most salient point, and I would be remiss if I didn't say this, as somebody who was born and raised in southern West Virginia it, at the foothills up of the Appalachian Mountains, I'm a proud mountain mama. Uh, I, I, too, take great issue with, with Hillbilly Elegy. I've never read it, never watched uh, the made-for-screen uh, version of it, and uh, I think it did slam the very community J.D. Vance came from. So I really liked that Walls said that, and I think that irked J.D. Vance. So that's why today we heard Vance slamming Walls' military career, saying that he abandoned his troops and didn't go to Iraq, and that's a bad thing. Now, I, I think, again, we need to deal in facts here. I think the very fact that J.D. Vance is attacking Walls' military service shows that he's scared and doesn't know how to counter the very good points that Walls is making. Yeah, I got to uh, give a shout-out to my friends in the northern part of the state, Reno, where I grew up. But um, final question before I let you go. Is there a joy factor? And if so, how do you measure it? Lots of people say the Vance-Walls ticket actually makes them just smile. Um. Well, like I said, I'm a longtime Republican, but I never supported Trump in 2016 or in 2020. And certainly I'm working against him this time because to me, it's not about how much you love Kamala Harris. She's, she is the best shot right now between um, really the extinguishing of the flame of Trumpism uh, and, and where we stand today. Uh, she can defeat Trump, and if she defeats him again, I think the Republican Party needs to look inward and, and really have a moment where they ask themselves, why are we a losing party in 2020, in 2024? And I think Harris has a stronger shot than most Republicans thought. But to answer your question on the nose, I think this moment is, uh, is really challenging a lot of mindsets. A lot of people inside the Beltway have been wrong, and I think this next uh, less than 100 days tells us that we all need to be paying close attention because because we need these people who are trying to lead our country to deal in facts. So it's time for some more substance. I look forward to the debates and I am just ready for the ugly campaigning to stop. I, we need more light. We don't need darkness. So again, looking at that Philly uh, rally last night, it was hard not to smile and hard not to feel hopeful when you're seeing such joy being projected by two people who want to lead this country at the highest level next. Rena Shaw, who hails from the great mountaineer state of West Virginia, can't be all that bad. Rena, thank you very much. As we had to break, thank by the go. way, uh, we're taking a look at Wall Street. As you can see, the Dow continues to rebound from Monday's terrible losses right now in positive territory, 39,225. More importantly, up almost a half a percent, more than a half percent. We're back out on the scene in three minutes. Stay with us. At Consumer Cellular, we pride ourselves on getting you the exact same nationwide coverage as the leading carriers for up to half the cost. But don't worry, we've got a lot more than that going for us. Woo! Like this beautiful store in Arizona, for example. It's the perfect place for me to tell you a little bit more about our phones and how they can become 